2012 was shaping up to be a record breaker. Having suffered the worst drought for a century, it was now suffering the worst rainfall and flooding in living memory. Everyone was asking, what on earth is happening to our weather? And the extreme summer just went on and on. In July, this severe storm in Leicestershire produced hailstones the size of golf balls. And the rainfall continued into August. By the end of the summer, 4,000 homes across Britain had been devastated by floods. Saturated ground across the country meant even a small amount of rain had the potential to trigger further flash flooding. And flash floods don't just destroy homes, they also take lives. Paul O'Sullivan runs one of the UK's leading flood rescue centres. In terms of worldwide deaths from natural phenomena, flooding is the number one killer. Today I want to experience what it's like to actually be that victim, to be washed away from in a flood. At Teesside Barrage in Stockton-on-Tees, Paul shows us how the force of water is so powerful to the human body. The flood course is created by four 13-metre Archimedes screws. Every second, tonnes of water will be pumped into the course from the river. Just one cubic metre of water weighs a tonne. Within one minute, nearly a thousand tonnes of water will be powering around Paul. I can feel the water building up around my feet. Pressure's building on my feet. It's coming up around my knees now. My left leg is really trying to get washed away. Just seconds later, he's overcome by the torrent. But the real danger is hidden in the water. There'll be debris in the water with me and that can be dangerous. Fences, hedges, park benches, everything that was never meant to have water flowing around it is now a treacherous hazard. And if I get washed into that, that could be the end of my life. And so I'm really trying to keep my face looking downstream, defending my position, keep my feet downstream me. So if I do see an object, I can swim away and work a safe route down through the hazards. By far the deadliest place to be during a flood is trapped inside a car. And let me know when they have the final check. Paul is going to find out what it's like to be a victim. A horrifying statistic is that over 60% of people who drown in floods drown in their vehicles. To replicate a car wedged against trees or a bridge, Paul's car is tethered to the ground. You can just feel it now. The vehicle is beginning to shudder. I can feel vibrations coming up through the steering wheel. Every second, seven tons of water crash into Paul's car. It's on the bottom of the windscreen and I've got water on the windscreen now. He has just two minutes before the car will completely fill with water. The car well is filling up. There's water all around me now. There's water up onto the, onto the sunroof here. I can put my hand out and I can feel the air out there. It's just a thin film of water. It's freezing cold. Surrounded by the torrent, Paul's safest course of action is to seek refuge on the roof. Am I going to get washed away by this water as I get out? I'm going to give it a go. 